5.4 uh, exponential and logarithmic functions so for today we are going to learn state the domain and range of the log logarithmic function okay def a definition for log function for a greater than 0 and a cannot be 1 the logarithmic function with the base a is denoted as fx equals log x base a where we can change into y, which is y equals to log x base a and transform it into index form a to the power of y equals to x or uh, for the log function is x greater than uh, a is greater than 1. Okay, uh, we look at the basic graph of the log function. Let's say we have fx equals to log x base 10. Okay, so the graph is uh, like this, okay, and we have x intercept at 1. Actually, the log function are the inverse function of exponential function. Okay, this is the domain of log, this is range of uh, function f. And from here, we can say that the domain of f is 0 to infinity. And the range of f is uh, negative infinity to infinity. You can see that from here, uh, what we have learned before, actually, this is the range, range of, uh, range of exponential, and this is actually is the domain of exponential function, and we know that the the log. And the inverse, uh, the exponential function are inverses each other. Okay, graph of log functions. So we have fx equals to log x base a, where a greater than one. Okay, these are the basic graph of log. Okay, look at the a. Fx we have y equals to log x base a. This is the domain which is greater than zero. So your uh, this log function has a graph on start from uh, more than x zero, so x more than zero. So from here we can see the intercept, which is y zero, you get x one. So this is the basic graph of a. Okay, b y equals to log negative x base a, and from here we see the domain greater than zero. So you get a uh, negative x greater than 0, you get x less than 0. So from here, we see that the graph located on x uh, on the left x 0. Alright, so intercept at negative 1 when y is 0. So this is the graph. Okay, C, uh, y equals to negative log x base a. We, we see that this graph actually translate to x axis x axis so you get negative log x base a and the domain still the same so you get this graph intercept at one but it translates to x axis and to get graph t also which is a domain less than zero is also translate from graph b to get t at x axis so you get this graph Okay, for example, the following graphs are the family of logarithmic function, which is uh, for the basis uh, 2, 3, 5, and 10. Look at the, the shape of the graph. So log, y equals to log x base 2, log x base 3, log x base 5, log x base 10. Actually, the shape is still the same, but... The accuracy of the graph, we are not considered the accuracy of the graph. We, we just consider the shape of the graph. And from this graph, we see that the, the range always real, which is negative infinity, infinity. And the domain always x greater than 0. So I repeat. So from here, we see that the domain, the domain is, look at the x here which is greater than 0, which is 0 to infinity, and the range is always real, so negative infinity, infinity. 
Okay, properties of log function. So first, uh, for fx log x base a for a greater than zero. So the function is defined for all x greater than zero. So this one, you look at the domain of the graph. So this is the graph log is always greater than zero, which is this is the domain. And then the uh, second one, the x-intercept is 1. This is the basic graph. So from here, we can say that y0, so you get x, what? Okay, 3, the graph approaches the negative y-axis but never touch the y-axis. Okay, and 4, look at the behavior of the graph when x goes, to, uh, when x approaches to infinity, here, when x approaches to infinity, at the same time, uh, fx approaches to positive infinity. And then, when x approaches to 0, when x near to the x0, fx approaches to negative infinity. Alright, uh, to sketch the basic graph for the function log, uh, first you have uh, find the domain, and the second, what is the value of x, what is the value of y, the shape, and x-intercept. So five things that you have to find first in order to sketch the log function. Okay, alright, so... Let's start with one domain. Okay, domain actually we we'll look at at here x. This is the domain. So the domain is always greater than zero. So your graph is uh, on your on your x zero on your right hand side. And then so how to find uh, uh, x value? So x value you look at x here. So the coefficient of x is positive. And how to find y, y is the coefficient of in front here, positive, so y, positive. And the shape of the graph is like this. And then how to find x-intercept, so from here, y0 meaning 0 is equals to log ax, so we have x equal to a power 0, which is 1, so intercept at 1. So you have the graph, this is x positive, this is y positive, so when x1, y0, so the, the shape of the graph is like this and never touch at 0. Right, example 1, so look at the domain, how to find, how to sketch this graph, fx equals to log x base 2. So look at this is 2, a, a greater than 1. So what is the domain? The domain is, uh, look at the x here. So x greater than 0. Okay, so your graph is from uh, more than x greater than 0, meaning on your right hand side 0. So what is the value of x? So x here is positive. What is the value of y here? Is positive also so what is the shape so the shape is like this and x intercept meaning y0 so here we get log 2x equals to 0 x to power 0 which is 1 so intercept at x1 so from here x positive y positive so x1 y0 so the shape of the graph is like this so from here, we can see the domain is x greater than 0, which is 0 to infinity. So this is also x greater than 0. How about the range? The range is always real number, which is negative infinity, infinity. Okay, we have another example. y equals to negative log x base a. We look at the domain. x greater than 0. x is positive. y is negative. And the shape of this graph is like this because this is a translated, this graph uh, translated from the original graph log x base a. And then uh, how to find x intercept y0, you get x1. And then 
and then this graph is like this this is x positive y negative so the graph is coming like this no the graph is like this okay all right so it the set at one x1 so this is a graph Okay, next example, fx negative from x, so the domain is x greater than 0, so we have x positive, y negative, so the basic graph of this one is like this. Okay, x intercept, we have negative from x equal to 0, ln x equal to 0, x e to e power 0, which is 1, so x intercept at 1. So the graph is like this, and then the domain is 0 to infinity, and then x greater than 0, and the range is always real, which is negative infinity to infinity. Okay, uh, let's say if you have y equals to log negative x base a, so the domain here we take out this one negative x is more than zero so you get x less than zero so your graph in on your left uh, hand side which is starting at zero uh, x less than zero on your left zero at zero so from here we see the x is negative y is positive and the shape of the graph is like this and then you get intercept at negative 1 so you, from here you can calculate let log a negative x equals to 0 negative x a power 0 which is 1 so x you get negative 1 so intercept at negative 1 so uh, we have x negative here y positive and the graph uh, we have x less than 0 intercept negative 1 and then the graph is like this. Okay, let's try this example. We have y equals to log 1 minus x base 2. This is a greater than, greater than 1. Okay, so uh, the domain, you take all the, this whole one, 1 minus x greater than 0. So you have x less than 1. Okay. So, x is negative because here, negative, y is positive, the shape is x negative, y positive, so the shape is like this, and then x intercept, we have log 2, 1 minus x equal to 0, find x, 1 minus x to power 0, 1 minus x equal to 1, x is 0. So the graph uh, has a x1 here, and intercept at 0, 0, and the graph is like this. So the domain is x less than 1, which is negative infinity, comma 1, or x less than 1. So the range always real number. Okay, for the graph y equals to negative log a uh, negative x here, so you take out, take out the domain, negative x greater than 0, so you have x less than 0, so x is negative, y is negative, so the shape is the graph is like this, and then y 0 you get x negative 1, so here we have x negative y negative so the graph is like this uh, please take note to sketch log function make sure a greater than one if your base is between zero or one the base uh, must change first for example let's say you have fx log x uh, base 1 over 3 so here we see that 1 over 3 is between this value so we, you change it into negative log x base 3 so after that you sketch the graph
Okay, try this example. Uh, we have fx equals to log 1 minus x uh, base 1 over 2. So this is a uh, base equals to 1 over 2. So you change it into negative log 2, log base 2, 1 minus x. Okay, after that, from here you find the domain. So the domain is... 1 minus x greater than 0, so you have x less than 1. And then the domain, uh, after the domain, you find x value, so x value is negative. And then y is negative also. And the shape of the graph is like this. And x intercept, so you have to calculate, you have... Uh, you can uh, use either the first or the second one. 2, 1 minus x to 0. So 1 minus x, 1 over 2 power 0, which is 1. So you get x is 0. So from here, you see the domain less than 1. Less than one. So look at x1 first. And then the graph is negative, negative, meaning uh, intercept at 0, 0. So the graph is like this. So the domain is x less than 1, which is negative infinity, comma 1. And the range always real, negative infinity, infinity. Okay, please try this. Uh, sketch the following graph of fx. Hence, find the domain and range of fx. This is the exercises for you. And please try it, okay?